Hi there, and welcome to this unboxing of my first ever Scarlet Lime Planner Society kit. And I am super excited. Um, I've watched a lot of videos in which some pretty amazing people use these kits in really creative ways. And I guess I was kind of inspired by that to test it out for myself. So I did sign up for the three month subscription and I figured what a better time to do it than November, December, and January where some pretty awesome holidays reside. So super excited. I've been watching the tracking like a hawk in preparation. And here is the first little thingy that grabbed my attention and it is a pen case. It's in like a coated waxy almost uh, sort of material. The zipper is a little tough though and there are some threads loose at the seams. Um, so that's kind of not great but it is really beautiful and my nails totally match which always makes me happy if you've seen any of my other videos. <laughs> So, getting on into the actual kit, and it's like Christmas. I'm typically not a floral sort of person, but I don't know, this kit, it was just the right amount of floral, I think. Especially since it's done in these gorgeous, like, dusty rose mauve colors with some heavy inky blacks and very stark navy colors, like, mixed in. So the first thing I have here is the washi, which is just like that first piece of paper that's poking through. And this is the pen that came with it, which is ridiculous. This is definitely not something I would have picked up for myself. But I like the heft of it. It is a little weighty. It reminds me, the weight anyways, reminds me of the um, Metropolitan pens. And it's just a ballpoint, but you'll see later. It's a pretty nice ballpoint. And these are some tags, I suppose. I guess a lot of people turn them into paper clips, or they just use them as embellishments, but I don't know. I think I'm probably going to attach them to Christmas gifts, I think. And next thing I wanted to explore are these tabs and they seem to be a really fantastic idea especially if you don't have a laminator um, and it comes with four of those sheets of the clear uh, sort of uh, tab script and the paper of the tabs. It's actually the paper that shows up in that pack that I saved for the end. So that's really neat. And you can get everything to match. And I'm thinking this would look completely fantastic in my Recollections Navy Planner, but we'll see when I get to use it. Um, here are the fantastic stamps. I'm not a stamp sort of person, but I've always been intrigued, which is why I have these Versafine um, ink pads waiting in the wings. But, I don't know, stamps are so expensive. I really haven't felt, I don't know, the need to purchase high quality stamps or... No, yeah, no need. The desire's there, but the need hasn't been. So I was over the moon with this inclusion because I think last month's kit um, was just deco. It wasn't actually functional and this was perfect for me. They did however swap November and December on the sheet so that kind of scared me at first when I grabbed November and uh, it wound up being December but that's okay. Also, you can definitely tell I'm not a stamper because A, I'm making a mess, and B, I'm using the back of the ink pad as my stamp block rather than having an acrylic block waiting. And here I'm just testing out some of the little deco that's a part of this kit. One's like 
almost like a wheat shaft and the other one is an arrow and then an antler and a rose and super beautiful I'm really looking forward to using that and the next part of which I am super picky about my sticky notes so as pretty as this is I was very skeptical and so I decided to test out the pen first and yeah it's a nice surface to write on and this ballpoint um, really is smooth so that's fantastic but the quality is like most of the Target dollar spot sticky notes where the adhesive sticks very well to itself um, so if you were to come back to that pad after about 10 minutes it would be covered in my cat and dog hair because the adhesive still remains on the page and here are some other ephemera I think these might be um, sticker flakes I'm not entirely sure but even if they are not that can easily be solved with some adhesive like my tape runner or a glue stick or something like that now these are simply gorgeous um, these are some dear uh, paper clips in some very festive colors so that pink could be around so may the gold and the burgundy really but they will be especially awesome for um, the season just going into Christmas and this bag is just beautiful and I know from watching a lot of other people's hauls or setups to definitely save the bags and utilize their beautiful patterns later on and speaking of beautiful these awesome stickers I think they're done on like nice and premium matte or maybe even like a vinyl paper but they're gorgeous and here I was thinking I don't know like unprotected glitter and I was super worried that it was just gonna bust out everywhere which is why I kept shaking it because I wanted to get everything to the bottom but lo and behold I was pleasantly surprised here because it's not glitter huzzah it is instead a little um, like faux dory, faux midori, a tiny traveler's notebook in a similar print as the pencil case or pen case. And it even has paper in it already. So cute. But I think that would be a great charm for probably that recollections planner or even my uh, Filofax Malden in purple. Probably not so much the Gates Bay planner, but that's okay. And one of the last things I grabbed for because I don't think I'm going to utilize it. At least I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Um, are these cork decor things? Um, I was pleasantly surprised that they're really malleable it seems and soft but yeah I don't want to add excessive bulk to my planner and here are the scrapbook sheets which are the perfect size for me to store if I'm uncertain as to what I should do with them I should probably make dividers right that seems to be the prevailing thought and it is really fantastic paper that I probably wouldn't even need to laminate but we'll see I really do like the patterns though they're just the right amount right amount of like girly and tough and that's gonna do it for this little haul so I'm really happy with it actually and excited to see where the months take us and thank you for watching